Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about thyroglossal fistula, how it is developed and in the end I will show its characteristic hood sign. Thyroglossal fistula usually presents as a discharging orifice in the midline of the neck. Mind it, it is never congenital. So how it is developed? Actually, it develops from thyroglossal cyst when there is infection of the thyroglossal cyst and it bursts open into the skin, then thyroglossal fistula develops or it can develop from inadequate removal of thyroglossal cyst. If we know the pathophysiology of development, we will understand the hood sign. During development, the thyroid primordia runs from the foramen cecum in the base of the tongue to the lower anterior neck. It descends in front, behind or through the haveid bone along the thyroglossal duct to form the thyroid gland. The duct normally involutes in 8th to 10th week of gestation. But if any portion of the duct persists, secretion from the epithelial lining may give rise to cyst. Embryologically, there exists no communication of thyroglossal cyst with the skin surface of the neck. That's why congenital thyroglossal fistula is never seen. So, it is seen only after infection of the thyroglossal cyst or inadequate removal of the cyst. The hood sign is a characteristic finding in thyroglossal fistula. To demonstrate this sign, the patient is asked to protrude his tongue. On protrusion of tongue, the opening of the fistula is indrawn and been overlaid by a fold of his skin as a hood. This is because the fistula's tract is connected with the foramen cecum at the base of the tongue. So when the tongue is protruded, the tract along with the opening of the fistula is pulled up towards the tongue. And the normal skin over the fistula's opening looks like a fold of skin or as a hood. This is the hood sign of thyroglossal fistula. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.